In this video, I will make a two hours pizza dough. Is that even possible? Hello everybody, welcome back to Fabulous Pizza and today I will make some pizza dough that will be ready to stretch and bake after only two hours rising. Wow. This is quite different from what I usually do and from what I suggest doing. You probably know, um, if you have been following me for a while, you know I like a fairly long rising time. Nothing extreme, but definitely not two hours. The long rising time is not an end in itself. You need it to achieve some fermentation of the dough, which brings flavors, a nice and complex taste to your final product, that is pizza in our case. But I understand that you're not always willing to plan and maybe sometimes pizza cravings just call, scream. So I will give you a recipe and a few hints to get a decent pizza dough ready in a couple of hours. That's basically the emergency dough I used to make in the pizzeria when the service was busier than expected and we needed something to bake quickly. But enough talking, let's go knead. The recipe is in the description of the video. We will make a single pizza. It's going to be a 12 inch pizza and uh, um, yeah, let's go. Okay, here we are. We can start. I am ready to make our two hours pizza dough. These are the ingredients, top water, room temperature, then bread flour or zero zero if you want, above 11% proteins, then salt and my yeast. This is the biggest difference compared to my usual recipe. In fact, we're talking about 2.5% here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out the video in the upper right corner. The higher amount of yeast is what makes the dough rise faster. This is fresh yeast. If you only have dry yeast, just divide the amount by three. Okay, let me move this stuff. I will start with water as usual and dissolve the yeast into the water using a spoon. I will add around half of my flour at first and mix. Now it's time to add my salt and mix it as well. I plan to add the rest of the flour in a couple of rounds. Please note, I won't be too strict. It doesn't matter if I won't use all of it. Actually, I'd like to see some leftover because the more water into my dough, the more quickly it will ferment. And that's good because the overall rising will be short. Basically, I'll try to give a bit more taste to my pizza crust. Now my dough is coming together nicely. It's still a bit sticky, but I will just continue kneading. This flour here, I'll try not to use it because, as I said, higher hydration leads to quick fermentation. That is what gives flavor to my crust. The dough is not ready yet still a bit sticky, this is why I will let it rest for a few minutes and finish working with it later. It would be, yeah, just a little while. Okay, let me work with this dough and finish it. I will fold it on itself several times until it's not sticky anymore. Now I'm happy with my dough. I will put it 
here with a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick. Always cover it so it doesn't dry. We want our dough to be ready in two hours. I mean, give or take, of course. And to achieve this, we used a fairly high amount of yeast. However, we also need to consider our room temperature. Let's say that if we have around 20 degrees Celsius, then we're good. Our dough will be ready in two hours or so. If your room temperature is way below 20 degrees, I recommend checking your dough after one hour. And if it doesn't seem to be rising, then you better put it in the oven with the light on. This will increase the temperature and the speed of the whole process. Very well, two hours are, are passed. Let's check our dough. It seems beautiful. Look how much it grew. Um, now let's bake it and we will see how this pizza will turn out. Quite easy to stretch, seems soft enough. Yeah, it's really nice. I will make a simple margarita today, just tomato sauce and uh, mozzarella. Uh, if you want the recipe for my tomato sauce, just check the video in the upper right corner. I've got my... Pizza peel, a little bit of semolina here, so my pizza won't stick. Okay, you make it nice and round and it goes in the oven, come back in a few minutes. Yay! Okay, the pizza wasn't too bad. I think it tasted a bit plain, but I knew it from the start. The fermentation was almost missing, so I couldn't expect anything special, really. The main takeaway here is that, of course, we need to increase the uh, amount of yeast in order to speed up the whole process. But please don't forget about the temperature. Yeast is super happy and thrives when temperatures are between. 20 and 40 degrees Celsius, but this range is pretty wide, of course, and the dough will behave quite differently at the two extremes. I managed to get my dough ready in a couple of hours at around 20 degrees, slightly less actually, but if the temperature was 40 degrees on the other extreme of the range, I would expect the dough to be ready way quicker, probably just one hour.